So today I'm talking about a P0607 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the P0607 code? Well, it's a control module performance. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have computers built into them. And while there can be different control modules, there could be a transmission control module or an ABS control module. The main control module is going to be called the powertrain control module or sometimes the ECM called the engine control module. And for some reason, this control module is having an issue. Mainly the CPU that's built into them is having an internal error. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And so what would be some possible causes of a P0607 code? Well, the first thing that can cause this is a bad battery or bad battery connections. And basically all these computer modules, they all need a good stable power source. And if there's anything wrong with that, then it's going to cause issues. It can start causing errors. So first thing to do is go check your battery. Be sure that's good. It's got a good charge, things like this. Check out your battery terminals and make sure they're making good contact. They're not all corroded, things like this. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad battery or bad battery connections. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of charging issues going on. And this is mainly going to have to do with the alternator. And so you can go check the alternator output. If you have a multimeter, basically all you do is you just check the voltage at the battery and you start the vehicle and you check to see what the output is. It's going to vary and depend on the vehicle on what the alternator output is, but it should be somewhere in between 13 and a half and 14 and a half volts. If for some reason it's lower than this or higher than this, then there's some kind of issue going on with the alternator is not charging correctly. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of charging issue going on. And then the next thing on the list that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And this is going to be something like an open, a short, a blowing fuse, something along these lines. And so if you could go locate your PCM or ECM and just check out all the wiring going to it, you can check to see if anything looks like it's damaged. If you don't see any physical damage, then you can get a schematic for your particular vehicle and start checking all the wiring to see if there's any open shorts or anything like this going on. That can be difficult to do, but all the wiring can be checked to see if there's any open shorts, bad connections, things like this. But the next thing on the list is going to be bad wiring connection. And the next thing on the list that could cause this is going to be a bad ground. And basically these computer modules, they need a good ground or else it could cause problems and just cause errors and things like this. Sometimes this metal case is grounded to metal and it's just making a bad connection or something along these lines. And so if you have a jumper wire, you can jumper to the case and then jumper to a good ground somewhere like on the frame or something like that. And then just see if the air clears because if these computer modules have a bad ground then that can cause issues. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad ground. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's just a bad PCM or ECM that that computer's just failed and just needs to be replaced. Sometimes when these fail, they actually get burnt spots on the board. So if you can go locate that PCM or ECM on your vehicle, you can't go around it and just check to see if you smell anything burnt. It's because sometimes, not all the time, these can go bad and there's no burnt spots or anything like that. But it is fairly common for them to get burnt spots on them sometimes when they do go bad or one of these caps to blow up or something along those lines. You can't even open these up and check to see inside of there if you do see anything burnt. And if you do see a burnt spot, then for sure you know it's failed. But like I said, it can't vary. Sometimes these go bad and there's no burn spots on them. But the last thing on the list is gonna be that that PCM or ECM has just gone bad. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0607 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.